Well, hey there, guys. Out for another adventure on this beautiful, beautiful weekend. Uh, we're out at the other side of the shoe swap. It's on the, there's different arms of shoe swap. I'll put a map up here, but there's, we're in the salmon arm arm. Arm arm. <laughs> um, so we're on the other side of the shoe swap. Um, we're at a place called Margaret Falls. Now there's a beautiful, beautiful creek running around here. It's all like got this nice, beautiful canyon through here. I've got um, lieutenants out getting the batteries looked at, so I'm using one of my old my old front drives. It's called a Baytech Scramble, and it's basically the same as the um, Tri Ride that I normally am on, but it's a different company. This is German, and the other one is Italian. So giving her a try and see what it's like. It's, again, super, super expensive, and it's got a long story involved in why I have this. So let's get on with the adventure. DJ, can you please roll that intro? Hey, everybody. My name is Andrew Adley. After a workplace accident, I was left as a bump knee amputee. I had a decision to make. Get busy living or get busy dying. Obviously, you only have one life, so I made a decision to get busy living, exploring every opportunity that is presented to me. Tune in every week for different adventures, both from accessibility standpoint to adventures with my family and friends. And every adventure begins with one leg at a time. Kenzie's gonna give us a, a how cold rating. Beautiful day, kind of cooler in the shade here. I don't have, um, I'll show you guys what I'm on today, but I'm not on Lieutenant, I'm on a bike I called Gump. I'm guessing it's gonna be super cold. What's the rating? Colder than the hot tub that time? Less cold than that. Less cold. So, warmer than 10 degrees. So, we'll continue going up. So, unfortunately, after Kenzie testing the water, we continued on and we ran into this giant hill that you're seeing in front of us now. Now, normally that wouldn't be a big deal if it was paved, but it's all loose gravel. And then there's a... Uh, fairly busy highway right above it so I didn't want to take a chance so I backtracked all the way back through the campground back down the highway and then met the girls on the path on the other side of the highway so this is me backtracking back through the campground again it's kind of frustrating but I'm slowly getting used to the world's not very accessible but you know what to get to these falls I'm willing to take the roundabout way to get there guys I'm so sorry this front drive is so much louder than the lieutenant it's a Baytex scrambler but it's got less power but it's so much more noisier I'm sorry lieutenant will be back soon hey there guys quick trip down the highway and gump here and we're heading up to Margaret Falls so it's on the other side of the highway so basically that incline was too much for me so I took the the highway up to here getting climbed out of the campground sorry so this is heading up the path to margaret falls you can see it's pretty it's not bad it's probably a, i don't know like 10 percent grade or something but it's beautiful old growth trees they've really done a nice job of it this park's been closed for the last couple of years because of flooding so it's nice to see it open again you can see a lot of people using it here. Beautiful rock walls there. 
I'm going to call that Margaret Falls. You see all those old trees that have fallen and beautiful rock wall here. We've done a really good job making it accessible. Way to jinx yourself, Andrew. Except for that one way out of the campground, but and there's the creek that Kenzie was in earlier that tried. Super wide bridge. And you're just in this canyon. Just beautiful. So we'll continue on our way up, up to Margaret Falls. Help if I took the parking brake off. Look at these old, these old rock walls. Can you imagine the water that it took just to wear it down? There's the family, Kenzie and my beautiful wife, Lisa. Just stunning. So we got to this big hill and normally with my front drives, I go up backwards as it gives me more power. When I go up frontwards, it just spins. So hey guys, so I'm gonna try this hill up backwards. This is dumb. Jump is a Vtex, Vtex ground. Jump may run on the jump. Jump doesn't have enough jump. <laughs> okay, let's take a run at this. Take two. Okay, here we go. So thank you, Kenzie, for filming that clip for us. So you can see, look at the glacier water, it's so good. Trees all overgrowing. So I would say if, I mean, this is doable on a manual wheelchair, you, you probably need some help or a little bit of a workout. It's not crazy crazy hills, but it's enough. But that You big dope, you need to stop jinxing yourself. Don't say something like that until the adventure's over. The nice thing is it's packed really well, so it's not loose gravel. So, honestly, it's pretty good. The bridges are, as, as you can see, are pretty flat. Without my wife's assistance, I wouldn't have made up, that up. Okay, so let's give this a try. It's just beautiful. Like, I don't know how many places in the world you can go on a wheelchair to falls. Well, obviously parking lot falls, but you know, something like this. Uh, I'm gonna need some help on this. That's my next hurdle. I don't know if I'm going to be <laughs> Sometimes, as old Kenny Rogers say, you got to know when to hold it and when to fold it. Well, I decided to fold it. This hill was way too much, and it's just not fair for your family to push you up every hill. It kind of ruins the adventure for them. Plus, for my pride, it's kind of embarrassing, too, even though they say they don't mind. But still, it's just one of those things. So I handed the camera over to Kenzie. So yeah, there's no way you can get up that. Um, I'm not gonna ask my family to push me up. So because he's gonna take the camera up and hopefully show some good fight. So Kenzie took the camera up to the falls. As you can see, it's not far to get up there, but 
it doesn't show the incline on the camera, but it is fairly steep getting up there. I mean, they already pushed me up once. I didn't want to keep pushing. It's just so magical through here. Look at the rocks coming down. It just tapers down to this little area. I can't imagine the power of Mother Nature to form all these these rocks and to rip through it. The old growth trees on here just holding on to this hard, hard rock. Man, it's so cool. It's great to see people actually going out and seeing these things and seeing the families there out with their kids and everything. The amount of water coming down here is pretty cool, but this is the middle of summer, so I can't imagine during the fall. You know, I gotta give it to Kenzie. She's only 12 going on 13, but her camera skills are definitely improving. She's learning to zoom, and it's not an easy thing to work a camera and be able to capture the moment, but man, she's doing a really good job. You know, seeing these waterfalls, no matter how many waterfalls you see, you still get that feeling and you realize how powerful Mother Nature is and the power of water and what it can do. I am so hot and it's ridiculous. I'm ready to go for a swim. Look at all the water down there. It's so cold, but I'm so excited to like, you know, I take a pause and I might go jump in that. And then we're going to go to the lake afterwards, which you already know that I'm going to take part of. Look at these massive trees. There, he might need to zoom in, but there's Daddy down there. He couldn't make it up this. He could, but we'd have to push him if he wanted to push him. It's just so nice in the shade. It is a very nice place. Quick, easy but very, very hot on a hot day. There's the water. Look up, there's like trees going over. My, oh, he's probably in a thumbnail. It's so nice out here. The water. The stream. Oh. So hot. So that's the hill, guys. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it up there. It's just beautiful, stunning trees. Glacier fed creek. So, thank you, Kenzie, so much for doing this for me and doing it for the peoples. So, I guess I failed you, but I couldn't get up there early, and I could have with a whole bunch of people help, but I don't know. I don't like getting help. I know it's, it's a thing, but I just don't really like it, so... So do you guys remember that hill that I didn't go off at the beginning? Well, stupid me thought, hey, I'll try it going down. I got brakes. Well, as you can see, this is how it turned out. Brakes are all locked up. The front wheel has two calipers on it, so it's completely locked up. And I'm free sliding down the hill. Good thing that chain link fence is there to stop me, otherwise I would have ended up in the creek. I never said I was a professional or as good at this. <laughs> Always an adventure. Well, guys, you know those life choices that you, you think that you should have thought through? Well, I just tried to take this Bay Tech down. It doesn't look very steep, but down here. And I locked up the brakes. And... That's where I landed. 
I'm all good. My leg fell off, but you know, <laughs> every day is an adventure. Every day is super crazy. <laughs> it's still a stunning day. You got to laugh through it. What do you do, right? It's so cool. So just a short one for you today, guys. Just getting out to go to Market Falls here. And if you're on a wheelchair, the first set is doable. The last incline is pretty hectic. And then this monster here is, you definitely want to enter from the road. Overall, honestly, the way they've cleared these trees, I think it's pretty cool. And I give it to BC Parks, but, um, I'm not sure how much they how much more they can do so I would give the accessibility sadly a six it could have been higher just that last little section but I get it I don't blame anybody it's just is what it is so if you're in a wheelchair even a front drive I don't think you can make it all the way up but you know give her the beans and try your best just being able to be in the forest here is, is just so cool and Having these little bridges that crosses these streams is just so special. I'll put some stats up here about Harold Provincial, how many sites they have. It's a lot like Shushwap Provincial as far as trying to get in here. It's a super, super tough place to get in. Sorry, just going around the corner. Um, they probably, I mean, if I had to guess, they'd probably say 100 and, 100 and something sites, but I'll put I'll put it in the comments down below there, exactly how many sites. Not a lot of places you can have a creek running behind you and then a huge body of water in front of you, the Shushwap Lake, and the water's super clear. But just being able to go through the trees here, I mean, today the temperature is 33 Celsius. I'll put it in the bloop bloop down below what it converts to but in the trees here it makes it so so manageable so so cool anyways i'm just blabbing on thank you so much for going on this journey with me if you guys liked it and thought it was worth your time hit that subscribe button if not i just appreciate you watching it wherever you are have yourself a good day good night good afternoon thank you one leg at a time.